Hey guys, it's Yoshi here. Today, I'm going to show you hippo platter. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic structure of hippo platter mm -hmm. and the counter attack against deep half and single underpass. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's start with the basic structure of the hippo platter. Then in order for you guys to understand the structure, let's start from deep half guard on top. This is the typical situation you can expect to set up. As you can see that the deep half guard, in order for him to play, he needs to put my left knee on the mat, then he wants to keep my right knee in air. This is the structure. Plus, he wants to use his arms either on my right side or left side, he uses like this. So you need to make two things in order to make it happen. The first, you wanna put your right knee on the mat. That's why, actually this is not a proper deep half guard, but I just want you to understand it like this. Then by the time you do the action, as you can see there, this time he holds my left leg with his right arm like this. Then it's getting cl close to three quarter mount. So this is the position we wanna start with. And in order to set up hip hop ladder, I want you to be able to set up the three frames, the three connections with your partner. Okay, the first one is on your partner's neck. I use my shin along his neck like this. This is like making a knee shield, like this one. Then, two more you need to make it. The next one is making a grip on your partner's wrist. That needs to be really tight on it. Otherwise, you can do the next couple of steps. So I just simply grab his wrist with palm down, like a thumb down grip, like this. Then I wanna make sure that I wanna attach his hand and wrist on the side of my hip, like this. As you can see that I have control on around his neck and the wrist like this. After I go like this, I can automatically make the frame around his shoulder and elbow. This is the third frame. Once you set up three of them together, I can make the shape on his arm, which is quite similar to Kimura and Omoplata. That's why Andrew Gavan call it as hippo platter, like using a hip to set up omoplata. Then after you go like this, now we're gonna roll forward. The time you roll forward, I want you to keep those structures that I explained. Whenever you lose one of them or all of them together, you can no longer do the next step. All right, I grab his list and I attach it like this. Then next thing, what I like is post my hand on the mat like this. You can do the action without posting the hand on the mat, but maybe a little easier to understand a structure. Then from this, what I'll do is start driving my left knee on the mat, like this. As you can see there, the frame is getting stronger. Like I showed you at the beginning of the time, I start using my shin or like ankle behind his neck like this, plus I lock his wrist. And I use my ties to lock around his elbow as well. This is exactly the same shape as Kimura and Omo Platter. After I go like this, I'm gonna go forward. Then the time I fall on the mat, I wanna make sure that I use my left shoulder. I fall on my left shoulder on the mat like this. Then, since he still play a guard, the guard position, he casts my right hand, but which is not a problem. All I wanna do is just roll forward with keeping the structure, just like this. So this is right after fall on the mat. As you can see there, I still make hook behind his neck like this, with his trapping arm like this. Which means El cannot push up. El can push up. He can't do that. Can he also push your arm? He cannot also do that as well. I want to see that the shape itself is pretty similar to Omo Platter on the turtle position like this. Then from now, we can extend a couple of situations. Today, I want to show you two cases. The one is the crucifix and the back take. Let's start with the crucifix from this position. As long as I keep those structures, I can pin him on the ground. But in order to do the next actions, I need to pull my right leg, which is a little in the way. That's why I pull my right leg out like thing. As you can see there, I'm making a shallow frame, but it's okay, as long as I keep it tight. He can no longer go away. After go like this, now I let go the frame to come up. So this time, let's just use the belt grip. It's gonna be a little help for you guys to come up, like this. So from now, I'm gonna come up. This may be a little toughest, like a tightest part. Uh, as soon as I come out, I let go of the frame on his arm. I release the wrist grip, I pull his leg back. Look, by the time I come up, I can do the moves that's the same as the technical stand-up that allows me to drag his right shoulder on my side like this. 
Then, now I chest on his back. Either making a seat belt control or grabbing a faster wrist with trapping the arm. This is a crucifix position. If you want to simply set up crucifix, make up body control for on the mat, then you can set up like this. Then, as an option, I want to see that I keep the Kimura on Prada shape on my right leg like this. This is a little irregular frame for uh, crucifix. But on the other hand, you can go to reverse omoplata as well. From this position, I just show you roughly. I roll forward with my shoulder. By the time I do, I keep it. As I keep it like this, I can roll forward with trap his arm like this. After like this, or this pretty simple, I come up, then I finish like this. Last one's a little risk to try the movement since you attempted from a proton's guard. If you miss it, you may have lose a point of position. But on the other hand, from bottom, this is a really efficient technique. Then I've seen two person use it before, the Andrew Gabron. Yeah, probably he's the creator of this movement, plus Leo Genio. I saw he showed in a DVD in Japan back in 2008. This is the one he showed. So, like playing open guard like this. Then, maybe under passes, like he makes under on my legs like this. That's really common. And let's just do a hip platter against the single under. So this time, as you can see that, he lo starts locking my left leg with his right arm like this. This is exactly the same as I showed in the last one in deep half. But different things you need to do from bottom, that's gonna be a little hard to figure it out. That's why I show some more tips to make it happen. Okay, you start with like a wrist lock like this, wrist control like this. So, sorry, it's not wrist lock, that's submission. This, I attach it like this. Then, I wanna turn my knee as well like this, but at the beginning of the time, I don't wanna do that. If I do, I help him to pass my guard like this. So, this is doing something against his guard pass. That's why, first, you need to retreat Proton's attack. So, from here, I manage to kick his shoulder away using my hamstring or the back of my knee. This is the first step like this. Of course, if you want to retain an open guard, you can get your legs back like this. But if you have a room, I want you to consider to do the counter attack, hippo platter. So once I set up like this, in order to do the next couple of ideas, I need to raise my hips up. As long as I keep my hips on the ground, I have nothing to do. That's why I push my hips slightly. Then by the time of the action, I stretch my body like this. I don't even want to keep my upper body close to him. Like this, there's no space. That's why I lean back. As if I change the angle. You can see from the top view that I've changed the angle like this. Then I push. Then next one is gonna be the most important part from this position. I've already set up the frame on his wrist. Like I showed you in the last one, in order to do hip hop platter, you need to have three frames, the three connections on your person's elbow and the back of the neck. So I raise my hips up like this. By the time I raise, now I can change the angle of my knee, like this. Since I change the angle and level, he cannot do a single underpass straight away from this position. So over on this, start using my shin, back of his neck like this. Then during the time of the action, I want to make sure that I trap his wrist like this. Whenever I lose this one, he's be able to reach my back or I'm in trouble like this. Right? That's why just hold it really tight. Then, next thing, what you guys do is rolling forward, such as doing a reverse armbar roll. So I raise my hips up to go like, look at this. This is gonna be the exact same as the last one I showed you. So the hardest part is from this position, right? The last one, since we came from top position, we were gonna be able to come up straight away like this. But this one, we start from bottom position, which means you have a less mobility. That's why it may be difficult to come up to crucifix. That's why instead of doing it, let's try the back take. All right, since I'm looking at this direction, I can easily reach his hips. So this may be a little similar to bend borrow or a borrow back take. So from this position, if it's possible, if I can, the best case scenario, I want to reach the faster hips that I come up like this. Then I can make the maximum leverage and a control. But sometimes it may be difficult to do that. In that case, as a secondary option, somehow I just want to grab around his hips, either behind us, around here, along the spine, or the near side, hips or belt like this. Then, it's gonna be depends on the reaction. If 
he stays in this position, like staying a turtle from here. I just let go the frame to come up like this. Then, if I can come up completely, I take the back. Or with point the idea, by the time I come up, I can reach the far side. Then all I'll do is hip escape to drag his hips back. Then I can take the back. This is a hip platter against single under. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please just hit the like button, give us any comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you. I'll you guys catch the next one. Bye.